everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to do my next part of my Fate Grand Order Salem Let's Plays. So, last time was a very, very, very long introductory to this story. Yikes, it was so long. I was just like, my god, are we gonna stop talking? I had to go get some freaking water, which I have with me right now, because it was so long. But anyway, um, if you guys would like to support the channel and everything, I just gotta always tell you all this, just in case people don't know about it, is that I do have a Patreon and a coffee. Link's in the description. Anyway, we're gonna jump into the quiet forest. Dun 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 dun! So, we need, uh, writers our week to... Assassins. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll use, hmm, a lot of people have this set, which is very interesting. Uh, we'll use this level 100 jack. Okay, so why do I have it set on the caster team? I have no idea. But, well, actually, we need an assassin team. <laughs> um, why is Melt in my assassin team? Oh, that's why. She's effective against riders. Yes? I guess that's why. Um, we're gonna switch that, and we're gonna clear those craft essences so I can get better ones for them. Okay. Um, give you that. We need you to have NP thing that has a high NP. That. Give Melt something. She's quick based, right? Um, let me check. Like her NP is quick based. Right? Yeah, I haven't used melts in a while, so. Um, there's something quick. Increase quick card. Okay, let's uh, see how this goes. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna go. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I'm a little scared. <laughs> oh, it's dark. <laughs> Does this mean we've made it inside? It looks like we're in a forest outside of Salem, sometime before daybreak. I also wonder who the Medea is with us. Is it a friend or a foe, you know? I mean, that is what we were trying for, but it's so dark. Even for night, I know, right? Like, what the fuck? Is everyone alright? I'm still getting my bearings here. Sure doesn't feel too hospitable, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, you got every hangover? Good. I figured it'd be pitch black inside the mist, but it's actually a lot brighter than I thought. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> I'm impressed, Robin. I should have known you'd have great night vision. I can barely see a thing. Don't worry, Mesh. Hold my hand. It'll be okay. Do you think you could take guard duty? Sure. You got it. I'll check our watches against the stars later to make sure we're all synced up, too. Well, that didn't take long. I've already got eyes on someone suspicious. Great. <laughs> Looks like a guy. But if, but if, but that's a witch if I ever saw one. Just look at his beady eyes, evil eyes. Who, where, what? Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about me? That's rich. If I were you, I'd, have, I'd hope no one mistakes me for a bandit and shoots me. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, you came along? Stop that, you two! You should at least try to add like performers. What if someone overheard you? Good point. Wait, what the? Hello, I see that. Nezha. Damn, you scared me. Well, I know you. You're Crown Prince Nezha, one of the newbies. Oh, wait, she's new to us? Uh, you've been standing there so still that I mistook you for a wax doll. Why would there be a wax doll in the middle of a goddamn forest? Dolls lack capacity for thought. You show no sign of thought. Does that mean you are a doll? I don't know what she sounds like, so I'm like, I don't know what voice to give her. Ouch, that's harsh. Guess I deserve that. Sorry, I forget I said anything. Okay. Is everyone here? Mash? Just a moment, senpai. Slowly but surely. My eyes are starting to adjust. Aw, oh, look at that. How the face. I mean, it's not even that big of a detail, but you know, just, I don't know, I like that. My eyes are uh, starting to adjust to the dark. Over there. Is that. 
A dead body? Hello? <laughs> Medea, it is you, right? I don't know if that was Medea. Can you come closer, please? We need to stick together right now. I don't think... Oh, okay. Never mind. Is that something attached to her? Or is that her sprite? What's that about? I know. Ray shifting. Whoever thought it was a good idea to combine magecraft and science? I don't think I'll ever get used to this feeling. Question mark? Yeah, me too. Anyway, that's all seven of us, including Senpai. Everyone, please make sure you have all your things, then we'll be on our way. Okay, let's go find the village. I want to see a dead body. <laughs> Man, can't believe we're all stuck walking. You'd think Da Vinci could have planned something a little more convenient. Yeah, like flying somethings, I don't know. <laughs> Besides, if we had covered a covered wagon to hide in, it'd be a long way towards helping the locals buy what we're selling. Right? Right? <laughs> You really do love complaining, don't you? These two are gonna be back and forth, aren't they, this whole damn story. Oh boy. We were only able to bring the, a bare minimum of equipment we need. We'll just have to make do with what we got. That's always how it is with race shifts. If we need anything else, then we procure it on site. So we're gonna find a tent, and elephants, and lions, and tigers, and bears, and, and fire hoops, and trampolines. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. We're traveling reformers, so we don't have a whole lot to our names. Guess I should be honored that the bard himself came up with our little bit of a little bit of a bit of theater. Blech. Come to think of it, we ought to decide on a name for our merry band. Any day, any ideas, Master? I was wondering about that too. We should figure out that before we run into anyone. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> the Sarah Company. God damn it. Okay, let's go with the Sarah Company. <laughs> the Sarah Company, huh? That's great. What's so funny? It's not all that bad. You really don't have any manners, do you? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that a little too witty for you? I didn't know you had... You had didn't know you great scholars were so hard-headed. I gotta say, though, don't you think that it that it's not all that bad is kind of condescending as praise goes? Uh, I didn't mean it like that, but now that you mention it... I know what you meant. I understand. Fuck off, Robin. Thank you, Ringmaster. You're very kind. Head pats for Sanson. Um, Senpai... Can't help but notice that Robin and Sanson are always at each other's throats. Yeah, they are, and they need to stop it. They need to get that shirt that says, This is our get along shirt. <laughs> Someone draw that, please. Um. Hmm. Well, one's the poster boy for irreverent. Eh, whatever. I know we prepared for it, but it's not like we're gonna. We're. But it's not like we're for sure gonna put on a play. I just soon, um, I just as soon not to cross that bridge if I don't have to. Don't worry, I can always entertain with my dancing and my boobs. Shut the fuck up, Malahari. Besides, we also have two beautiful stars right here, right? Hmm, me. I, I know that Nezha is an important character in many Chinese operas, like Journey to the West, but... I got a hair on my arm. Okay. Um, you're not also talking about me, are you? What about me? I sure am. If I have to, I'll even bring Master up on the stage. <laughs> I'm game if Mash is. S senpai If that is your wish, Master. Now, I'm not going to do the period shit. That's stupid. I shall do my best. 
I believe the expression is, knock them dead. <laughs> I don't know why she talks like that, but I'm not gonna talk like that, so who the fuck called me? I don't know. Um, <laughs> that doesn't mean actually kill him. It's all pretend, got it? It's weird, nobody even called me. Why is there a voicemail? That's weird. Um, it's all pretend, got it? So don't go shooting at us or, or the audience. Oh, and there's one last thing I want to make sure of. I get we're going to try and explain away our outfits as being performers' costumes, but... Isn't it going to be a problem that we've got some obviously Asian people here with us? <laughs> Oof. I think we should be okay there. I was concerned about how Senpai would be received here, so I checked our historical records. The late 17th century was also the tail end of the Age of Exploration. At the time, most of, most of the interest in colonization had moved to the New World. But Europe had already had a strong connection to Asia, thanks to the East India Company. They regularly imported spices from Southeast Asia, textiles from India, and tea and ceramics from China. So since Salem was a British colony, uh, and would rather would later go on to be a thriving port town with lots of trade. The people here may not exactly see Asians every day, but they also shouldn't be so unusual that it would make them distrust us. Huh. Not so. Figures that tea would be one of the great British Empire's three basic desires. Be that as it may, we should still prepare ourselves to be treated with pre prejudice. Prejudice, whatever. Indeed. What's more? We do not know for sure that the culture here is the same as 17th century Salem from our history or not. By the way, Sarah, is there a way for us to contact Chaldea here? Huh? Oh, yeah, because that's not the real idea. Huh? You mean our communication device? Didn't Da Vinci explain all this to us herself, Medea? I was present as an assistant myself, but I was preoccupied with making sure Senpai didn't nod off. <laughs> yes, of course. I just wanted to review the information, given how important it is. Who are you? We can never return to Chaldea ever again. <laughs> huh, you're kidding, right? Don't tell me that we're stuck here forever! Yes, she's kidding. <sighs> oh, senpai. I have a special device for that purpose, though it will take some time to set up. So we won't be able to report our safe arrival back to Chaldea until that's done. Can anyone at all use that device? No, only Senpai. Ordinarily, this area wouldn't permit any kind of magical communication at all. But I was told we can get around by that uh, linking the key mechanism to Senpai's command spells. Since Senpai has a strong connection to all the servants still at Chaldea. Oh, okay. However, this method makes use of a back door, a byproduct of sorts that happens when Sheba acts up. So I believe it will only be used for this particular ray shift. That said, it's not as though we were pressed for time. The important thing is that our ray shift here was successful. I see. They really thought this through. Is there something important you need to contact Chaldea about? No, I was just curious. Who are you? Hold it. I see a light up ahead. It's a campfire. <gasps> oh, does this mean we've already at we're already at the center of Salem? I doubt it. If that were the case. We'd be seeing fields long before even a hint of houses. There's a fair few people. I can hear them chattering amongst themselves. 
We ought to keep out of sight and move in for a closer look. Let's do it. I'm going to take a sip of water. Mm. Hello. I know who you are. Do you all have your white ash branches? These are our magic wands. Now it's time to rap on the door. What is she doing? Tap it three times against the earth. Uh, against the invisible door. rat a tat a rat a tat a rat a tat 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 what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> this door leads to the world beyond, and once it's open, a spirit will appear and gift us with a prophecy. What sort of prophecy, Abby? It will tell you things about the future. You desire the boy of your dreams. <laughs> okay. Little girls, huh? And also, a glimpse of a far, far away world that's nothing like our own. Wait, what are they doing? Magic. Witches burn them! Okay. The spirit will whisper what you must do to make your dreams come true. I want a dress that's even whiter than snow! Something that's sure to catch his eye! Oh my god. I want to be a brunette with dark hair as raven's feathers. Your hair looks pretty brown already, but okay. I want to know who I'm going to marry one day! You're gonna die. <laughs> Your prophecy's just like, you're gonna die in 24 seconds. <laughs> you have 24 seconds to live. Eee! Okay then, everyone. Make your wish as you throw your wands into the fire. Shall we sing Tabuta's magic spell too? Tabuta? Who the fuck's that? Oh god, they have no eyes. <laughs> That's scary. That's scarier than witches. Yes, let's. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Weird. Okay, what the hell was that? They look like they're girls from the village. But they're all acting, well, crazy. But see, wasn't Abigail Williams the one who accused people of being witches? Ah, look how much fun they're having dancing. I wish I could join them. What are those? What what are those? What are girls that young doing out this late at night? Yeah, what the fuck? Could it be a trap, or some sort of mage calf ritual? Medea, I don't trust you. You're not Medea. Do you sense any magical energy, Medea? No, but oh, this is bad, very bad. What is? If anything, the opposite. I sense nothing since we came here. Our magecraft has been severely weakened. Here, let me prove it. Robin, Sansun, a uh, dancing girl, can you change into your spirit forms? And they can't, can they? No, I can't! What's going on here? Oh no! Are you no longer servants? Don't tell me you've been in, in, incarnated! Oh, that'd be bad. No, that's not what this is. It feels more like I've been crammed into a temporary human body than anything. Oh shit, really? Fuck. I thought the Spiritron conversion felt a little weird, even after the ray shift. Man, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. So they're kind of basically half human now, I guess. Who goes there? Holy fuck, that's terrifying. What? You had a little horn? Who the fuck are you? Okay, um. Who are you? Yeah, what the fuck? Robin, lower your bow. It's just a child. Is it though? Is it really? Damn it. Let my guard down when we got here. She overheard what we were just talking about. Hi there, young lady. What brings you out here? Well, she's so scary. You're outsiders. Um, senpai? Uh, are well, those girls over there friends of yours? Friends? I don't have any friends. 
Hello there. Huh, I'm sorry if we startled you. As as you saw, that scene is not ready for a Ziff performance. Oh god, why are you talking like that? But don't worry, we're not... Ah, uh, <clears throat> that accent. Are you a French soldier, a fugitive? I have to get out of here. Okay, bye. Uh-oh, she ran off into the woods. Which is probably not a good thing. You there. Sanson, Mash, wait. We can deal with her later. Something's going on near the campfire. Master? <laughs> Great. Ah! Stay together, everyone. They'll pick you off if we get separated. What's going on? Why are there wild beasts so close to the village? Come on, Abby. Let's get out of here. W -w -w wait! Let me get a piece of firewood. Otherwise... Ah! We have to stay together. Get back! Grab <laughs> Huh? Man, these new world beasties sure are rowdy. H who are you? Doesn't matter now, we need to fight. <laughs> Just an old dummy who didn't realize he'd been surrounded by wild beasts, young lady. Too bad none of them seemed like they'd make a good dinner. Hell, they look hungrier than we are. Demonic presence. These beasts, beasts no longer. Master, I mean ringmaster. You don't mind if we throw down with these things, right? Wait, ringmaster. We need to help these girls first. Uh. uh Matahari, uh, you mash get the girls somewhere safe. Yes, I'm, I mean ringmaster. Your village is down that way, right? Then let's get going. All right, time to fight. Finally, <laughs> it's like so much shocking. It's like I'd just like to fight, please. I mean, yes, I'm here for the story, but also, you know, sometimes you just want to get on to the fighting. So yeah, let's do that. So what are we fighting now? What are these beasts look like? That's what I want to know. All right. That's some new music, I think. Hey, wolves! This will be fun. Oh, wow, they, their levels are halved. To 45? Damn! It's wild. 45! Jesus. Forty-five, my god. Just what? It's so crazy, alright. Just forty-five? Like really? <laughs> like really? Forty-five? <laughs> That's wild. This is wild. When you're level 90 servants are 45. Jesus. That's crazy. That's wild. Oh, come on, Melt. <laughs> like, really? Really, Melt. There we go. 
That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. Alright. Well, we did it. We saved the little girls. Whoever that little girl was who looked really creepy though, who the fuck? And done. I'll go ahead with Master. You guys finish up here. What's going on here? It's lucky that these creatures weren't too strong, but... It seems our strength has been halved. Indeed. This, is, this strange false incarnation has more dire effects than I thought. At this point, we may as well be human. Dang, that's wild. We might be in for some tough battles down the road. Yeah, oh god. Yes, it is difficult, but worry not, Sanson. The Buddha always watches and protects in forsaken lands. Why did they do her localization like that? That's weird. That, that's weirder than Hime's. <laughs> Hime's isn't even that weird. That's very reassuring, this, huh? How did it feel to you, Medea? Oh, wait. Did you sit that battle out? So it only affects combat. I don't know if this is friend or foe. It's really hard to tell. What is it, Medea? Don't tell me that you're upset that we could we beat them before you could. True, we may have overdone it. That albino girl saw us fighting. I see. That could be very bad. Do we silence her? Be careful how you say things, Nessa. I'm merely worried about one of those beasts attacking her. I'm going to take a look around. Okay, I'll examine these beasts in the meantime. Weird. Are you alright, Senpai? Senpai? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean... <laughs> Thank you for helping us. We couldn't have escaped from those mean beasts otherwise. You saved our lives. Sanson, Nezha, and Medea are putting out the campfire. They'll be here soon. Oh, oh goodness. Are you okay? Here, I've got you. I'm sorry. Now that we're out of danger, I was just so relieved that my legs gave out. I'm Sarah. Can I ask your name? Sarah? Of course. I'm Abigail. I live here in Salem. Who are you people? You don't look like sailors or merchants. We almost never get pilgrims or travelers here. And you're all wearing such strange clothes. We're the Sarah Company. A band of traveling performers. This is Sarah. She may be young, but she's still the ringmaster of our troop is named after. We got lost on our way to Salem and ended up here in the woods. Performers? Oh wow! You mean you came all this all this way from Boston? That's wonderful! I've never seen a real play before! Everyone's going to be so happy! By the way, do you know today's date, Abigail? Oh, please call me Abby, Miss Ringmaster. Today's date? Well, it's already past midnight, so that would be make it April 21st. Yesterday was the Sabbath. Interesting. The year two? Oh, uh, it's the year of our Lord. 1692. 1692? All the years to come to Salem. Oh, hello. Abigail, who are these people? Oh, Uncle! Mm. 
I don't know what you are thinking, taking the other children out into the woods in the middle of the night. But I'll deal with that later. Yes, Uncle. As for these people, Uncle, there. We're a traveling troop of people, hi! Well now, traveling performers, hmm? The other girls tell me that you saved them from a pack of wild beasts. And you are the troop's ringmaster, eh? Miss Sarah, you must let me express my thanks. Let's see. It would be quite difficult to find a decent inn in Salem at this hour. And I can't have such upstanding young men and women staying at, a, at the same flop house as those ruffians from the wharf. Why don't you all come stay at my home, if that's alright with you? That sounds great. Thank you. Kind, sir. Wow! Do you mean it, Uncle? That's wonderful! It's the best news I've heard in my whole life! How old are you? That's enough, Abigail. Shut the fuck up. You put all your friends in terrible danger. Once we get home, you will go straight to your room. Aw, poor thing. You will only have one. What the fuck? <laughs> What the what the what the what? <laughs> I'm s I know this is back then, but god damn! What a punishment. I'd die. You will only have water tomorrow for your breakfast and lunch. God And of course, you are forbidden to speak to our guest until I give you permission. Fuck you, man. God, that's wild. Okay, I understand. I will do as you say. Why is she not living with her parents? Where are her parents? Why are you living with your uncle? Oh, yes, I still have to introduce myself. Yeah, what's your name, dude? I am Randolph Carter, a scholar. I adopted Abigail as my own daughter after her parents, my sister and her husband, passed away. Oh, okay. I see. Now then, it's getting rather chilly, and we can talk uh, more tomorrow. Um, you'll feel much better after you've rested up from your journey in a nice, warm bed. I'll have the tituba fix you something to eat too. What the heck's a tituba? I feel like I've heard that word before, but I don't know exactly what it means. Like, it sounds familiar, you know what I mean? But I couldn't say exactly. Oh, hi! Oh, I like the style of that. Look at that. That's so cool. And I want to look at this map. So we got a village. We got a little house out here. We got a bridge. I bet where they'd hang people's right there. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Carter residence. It doesn't know battles, it's a pure story chapter. Let's talk for an hour. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa! Not what I expected. Okay. I know who you actually are, but okay. There we go. She's actually really pretty, I have to say. Like, I don't know. Her face is actually very pretty, I have to say. But the, the whole lower half of her body. Those boobs, though. Yikes. Thank you for fetching the water, Tutuba. I guess that will be my lunch today. That sucks so bad. Poor baby. Aw, oh, please cheer up, Miss Abby. Where are our guests? Inside. Uncle went off to see the Reverend. I'm sure he'll be scolded again later. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Kinda sucks, man. This sucks actually major ass. Having to drink just fucking water for breakfast and lunch? Like, goddamn. How's the comms coming along, Mesh? I double-checked everything, senpai, but I'm afraid... It's not working. Well, that's not good. That's actually very not good. <laughs> I guess not even Da Vinci's inventions always work perfectly. <laughs> uh, Nessa, try swallowing bef your oatmeal before you speak. 
come to think of it, weren't you supposed to be, you know, smarter? Because stuffing your face when you're a guest in someone's home isn't really a good look, you know. That's what he said. Um, especially when it's in a village that doesn't exactly seem to be overflowing with wealth. Besides, oats are for horses, not people. <laughs> Shut up. I could do a much better job preparing this dish even with the same ingredients. This village just doesn't have the luxury of caring about food. I do feel hungry. Hunger in this body it must be an effect of this false incarnation. Of course, I expect we would be regarded with suspicion if we were never seen eating. Try not to be so uptight about it. It'll make things a lot easier if we go around playing up our image as a bunch of weirdos. I was actually able to check out the entire village. I also spread word about our troop a bit, so make sure you guys play along. You already finished investigating the area? It's not even afternoon yet. Way to go, sis. Like you always say, first things first. So, what is the story with this village? Like Abby said, this is definitely Salem in 1692. All the villagers' stories line up. They're Puritans who originally hail from England. Most of them are farmers, fishers, and hunters. Not that there's, uh... But there's also blacksmiths and cloth dryers, not to mention the reverend. They're all industrious colonists who wake up with the sun and spend their days hard at work. And tell their daughters they're only allowed to drink water uh, <laughs> for every meal, almost. There are a number of warehouses at the wharf, along with boats headed for England and the West Indies. Huh? That doesn't uh, line up with our history. Salem can, didn't get a major wharf until... Did you say boats? As in sailors? M Medea? I mean... <laughs> That certainly makes sense, given that this is a port town. Who are you? God, I don't know. You kind of seemed like Lily for a moment there. Did, don't you let me in with that child. I guess there must have been an error in Sheba's observations. But still. I noticed the other deviations from our history, too. Like what? People still live their lives here just like they did in our own late 17th century, but they're not all the same people. What? There are lots of folks there are lots of folks here who weren't on the list of Salem's original residents. I haven't yet managed to figure out what it is they have in common though. I see. I guess that means this isn't the Salem of our past. Okay. For my part, I scooped out the local topography around Sunrise. And while the distinctive topography and architecture is all still there, the rest seems kind of off. There's a bunch of stuff that doesn't line up with the historical files Chaldea gave us. Then, as we suspected, this village is actually a cunningly crafted fake. So whoever built this place is only using 17th century Salem as a cover, and has swapped out both the buildings and its citizens. Does this mean... Okay. Um... Does this mean there's major historical change on par, um, with a singularity from the incineration of humanity taking place? What about the, uh, what about the people living in modern-day Salem? That's just it. There can't be more than 16, maybe 1700 people here. And I didn't see any place that could be used to keep the 50,000 people who disappeared. 50,000 people. 
I wonder where they could have gone. And that's not our only major problem. There's also the witch trials. In our own history, 1692 was the very year when the accusations that started the witch trials began. So, very soon, people are going to start pointing fingers like, You're a witch, you're a witch, you're a witch, you're a witch, and you're a bitch! I mean... <laughs> this is a peaceful village. Or at least, it looked like that way on the surface. But I did also see farmers arguing pretty fiercely about who owned certain lands. They looked like they were nursing some major frustrations underneath their pious exteriors. I don't blame the girls here for wanting to step out and let their hair down for a bit, like they did last night. I took a peek at their grain stores, and they didn't look like they had much to spare. They must have had a string of poor crops. I'm gonna take a drink of water, because I'm thirsty. Seemed to me like they just barely made it through the winter. This house just happens to be on one of the more prosperous side. There aren't many homes here that could accommodate guests. For that matter, one of the images we got from Salem were falsified. From Sheba, not Salem. Uh, I can't deny that's a possibility, but... My, oh my! Are you already discussing your next performance? I hope that means you slept well, honored guest. Oh, uh, Tituba, right? That's right. My name is Tituba. I'm Mr. Carter's servant. A servant? Her? I apologize for prying, Tituba, but may I ask? You wish to know where I'm from? I was born on the island of Barbados, in the Caribbean. A lot of people were like me. Uh, a lot of people like me where? Wait, what? A lot of people like me where? Is that a typo? <laughs> I may work for Mr. Carter now. But I used to work for Miss Abby's father. We were told that Abigail's parents passed away. That's right. They were both killed by the native people in that in the forest. Miss Abby was very sad about it for a long time. I felt terrible for her. I don't know what would have become of her if her uncle hadn't come along. She's doing much better these days. It's wonderful to see her smiling and happy again. But now I hear she was nearly killed by a wild beast in the woods. She must have been frightened out of her mind. Killed by the natives. Native Americans. So this is why Geronimo said he would be putting Master in unnecessary danger if he came along. No shit. <laughs> Most people would be pretty way of wary of outsiders after having their parents killed. But not her. She still seems... She still seems real trusting. Yes, she really is a very kind girl. She even goes out of her way to talk to servants like myself. I hope you don't mind if we ask another question. Last night, there was another girl besides Abigail's friends who... Oh, would you look at the time? I'm so sorry, but I need to get back to work. Well, that's convenient timing. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thanks for the food! Master, a word, if you don't mind. What do you make of that servant? Uh... That she seems perfectly nice? Oh, that was not the impression I took from her. Is something wrong, Medea? Uh, it's not safe to stay here. This place is being subjected to something more powerful than we realize. Really? I'd say this place brings back some nice memories. The wind whistling through the gaps in the walls. The sour smell of horse shit. 
The sour smell of horseshit, yes. <laughs> the head splitting sound of church bells. The bland, pasty food. The boring British small talk. I can't get over the horseshit line. <laughs> Those hardly sound like pleasant memories. At any rate, don't forget that we have a duty to help those missing 50,000 people, Robin. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, I almost forgot about, uh, forgot about frog legs here hopping along after us. You call them Sanson frog legs? <laughs> Would you care to say that? God, why are these two at their throats all the time? Would you care to say that again? Now don't start that again, you two. Hmm. But didn't do anything wrong. Why are you doing this? I think that came from outside. That was Abby's voice. Guess the head of the house is back. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? Step aside, Abigail. I'm the one who deserves to be punished, Uncle, not her. Didn't you say that yourself? Oh, we're gonna start pointing fingers at witches and bitches? <laughs> Miss Abby. The other girls and their parents say otherwise. They say that Tituba taught you a... Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> you her her heretical ritual. And then you all snuck out last night to attempt it. Well, they did. I had them promise to keep quiet about it. So that rumors don't spread around the village. Oh, they're gonna spread. This is the beginning. What in the world were you doing in the forest in the middle of the night, Abigail? I... Is something wrong, Mr. Carter? Sarah, I'm afraid my niece was doing something even worse than I believed last night. Unfortunately, I can no longer permit her to attend your production. See, the thing is, though, isn't it, like, Abigail who would accuse people of being witches? Hmm. What? But that's not fair! Come on, we were all kids once, right? Come on, dude. This is no mere mischief to be simply excused. It is fortunate that you were there to ensure no one was hurt. Oh boy, here we go. But Titima must be punished, and harshly, for filling the ch excuse me, for filling the children's heads with nonsense. She will no longer be permitted to be in their company. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Punished? No, Uncle, please. She only told me because I begged her to. Please, Uncle, punish me instead. I'll take whatever punishment you see fit, even lashes. So please. Oh, poor Abby. Poor baby girl. Oh my goodness. Damn, it's wild. It's okay, Miss Abby. I'll be all right. You're gonna get fucking hanged, bitch. If I may, Mr. Carter. I understand how frustrating it must be to have a young girl under your change, uh, your charge, running off at night. You must have been worried sick about Abby to have to come so deep in the woods, into the woods, searching for her. That said, I know that wild beasts sometimes go after livestock, but I thought they usually stayed away from people these days. That's true, but it's not just beasts we need to worry about. The nearby forest is very dangerous. Some even say this land is cursed, that God himself has forsaken our village. Abigail. No, oh, Abigail! She just ran off. Mr. Carter. Leave her be. As for you, Tituba. You are no longer to talk to talk about your hometown, no matter how much the other girls beg you. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Carter. I promise I won't do it again. I'm so sorry about this. Oof. What should we do, Senpai? Uh, we need to look for clues about the demon god. We do need to do that. I 
couldn't agree more. Something is definitely happening here. Yeah, something that doesn't seem quite right. I see. So we'll split up into teams and investigate the village further. Understood. Our goal is to find someone trustworthy. Alright, Nilsha. What do you say we go check out the ocean? Detection ability, full power. I'll stay in Mr. Carter's house, Master. It'd be dangerous to go around dressed like this anyway. Surprised they haven't started pointing fingers at you. <laughs> and there's something nagging me about Tituba. I'll keep an eye on Mr. Carter, too, while I'm at it. Got it. Sounds good. Alrighty then, that's that. More? Nope. Okay, that was that chapter. Well, things are definitely not right here, per se. Something, something's going on, but I couldn't say exactly what is going on, you know? It's like, hmm, is this another, ah, yeah, it's another just story chapter. I might save that for next time because we're getting it close to the hour mark here, so let me check. <laughs> the Kotatsu War? <laughs> what the heck, Mash? Okay, I just wanted to see what this week's uh, Master Missions are. Next time, we're gonna go to the Town Hall, and we're gonna do the uh, Unknown Before Dawn. Or Unknot, I thought that said Unknown. Unknot Before Dawn, what the hell? So that's the Town Hall. I thought that was a church. Because it looks like that's the place that was seen in that one picture that they showed. Um, I thought it was a church. Maybe it's not. I'm not 100% sure, but... I want to know about this little house out here because I look at it and it just seems suspicious. I don't know. It seems suspicious to me. Is there anything else really of note? Uh, little houses out here and there, but I don't think they're anything so suspicious. Um, I don't know, just that, that, that house, that, that brings suspicion to me for some reason. I look at it and I'm like, it's just way out there in the corner and I'm like, why? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and next time, again, we will jump right back into it and be a fun time. So, I'll see you guys in whatever Let's Play, whatever video I do next is, okay? Bye!